Good morning, children. How are you all, my dear cadets? Very good. So today's lesson, you might have guessed it, children. It's a poem, a very interesting one, children. The ant and the cricket. So let's begin, children. Look at that, children. That's an ant and a cricket, children, and a cricket, children, an ant and. A cricket. The poem that and the cricket is a fable, children. A story consisting of animals as characters that conveys a moral. What is a moral, children? A story or a poem from which we learn something. That's a moral. Moral, a lesson. Yes, we say the moral of the story is that means the lesson that we learn from the story. That's a moral. Yes. So the poem "Ant and the Cricket" is a fable, a story consisting of animals as characters that conveys a moral, written in a poetic format. It is about a silly young cricket. And a miser ant, the cricket used to sing all day long and enjoy his good times during the summer season. So, the ant and the cricket summary: desperate cricket. The boys, a cricket, he used to sing all through the pleasant months. He used to sing, you know, all through the pleasant months of. Summer and spring. When winter arrived, he found that there was no food at all, nothing to eat. Then he said, "What will become of me? It means what will happen to me?" That is what it means, children. He became desperate by starvation. He went to an ant. He requested him to lend him a shelter from rain and some food. He promised to return it. He added that if the ant did not do what he wanted, he would die. My silly ant! The ant replied that the ants did not ever borrow or lend. He, however, asked the cricket if he did not lay by anything in good weather that means safe for the winter months. He asked him what he did during the warm weather when the weather was fine. What did he do? The cricket, the cricket, you know, asked the sorry. The ant asked the cricket. Children, ants are very hard-working creatures. The cricket replied, he was very glad in that pleasant weather. He did not bother to save food for the winter months. When it would be very cold, in his happiness, he forgot to save food for winter months. So he kept on singing all the time. At this, the ant advised him to pass away the winter by dancing. So he tells him, "Whatever you have done in the summer months, do the same now. Enjoy now." Saying so, the ant. Turned the cricket out of his house. We learn a lesson from this, children. The poet ends his story with a moral. He says that this is not a fable but truth. He goes on to add that some human beings are also like the cricket of the story. What does it mean? Some human beings are also very lazy, idle. they don't save for future and afterwards they have to suffer they are in trouble they do not know what to do the condition is like that of the cricket in the story children so children that's a poem a silly young cricket accustomed to sing to the warm sunny months of his summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come 
Not a crumb to be found on the snow-covered ground. Not a flower could he see. Not a leaf on a tree. Oh, what will become? Says the cricket of me. At last, by starvation and famine made bold, all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold. Away he set off to a miserly ant to see if to keep him alive he would grant him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow. He would repay it tomorrow. If not, he must die of starvation and sorrow. Says the ant to the cricket, I'm your servant and friend. But we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay nothing by? When the weather was warm, quoth the cricket, not I. My heart was so light that I sang day and night. For all nature looked gay. You sang, sir, you say? Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. Thus he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Folks call this a fable. I'll warrant it true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. This poem is a fable taken from Aesop's Fables. This poem is about an ant and a cricket. There was a cricket who loved to sing and dance during warm and sunny months, the summer months, spring. He was short-sighted. He didn't bother to store food for the rainy season and cold winter. Short-sighted. He never bothered to think what would happen to him in winter. When the earth was covered with ice and snow, he found that he had nothing to eat because it was very cold, snow everywhere. There were no flowers and no leaves on the trees, nothing to eat. He grew nervous. He was worried now. Starvation could be seen over his face. He was worried that now he would die without food. Wet with the rain and shivering with cold. So he's wet because it was he was wet because it was raining, shivering because it was very cold. The hungry cricket went to an ant to get shelter and food. So what did he do? The cricket he went to an ant to get shelter and food. He made it clear that he would return the borrowed grain the next day. The miserly ant said humbly that he was a servant and friend of the cricket. But as a matter of principle, the ants neither borrow nor lend. They neither give to anyone nor do they take from anyone. He asked why he never bothered to store something for the rainy day. The cricket admitted that he had been careless and foolish. He enjoyed the beauties of summer and sang merrily. He was enjoying throughout the summer. He was enjoying singing, dancing. He never bothered about winter. The ant then told him bluntly, Go and dance all winter. Go and dance now, why don't you? You did it, you did it in summer, now also you go and dance. Though he turned the poor cricket out. He said, I cannot give you any shelter, I cannot give you food. Why? Because it is a principle they follow. They neither borrow nor do they lend children. Children, this poem, The Ant and the Cricket, is a fable in the form of poetry. Beso. It is a story of a desperate and 
this with silly cricket and a miserly and the cricket would sing during the months of summer and spring he never bothered to store food in the winter season he finds that there's no food to eat at home he was starving and thus where did he go so in the, in the winter season he finds that there's no food to eat at home he was starving uh, <coughs> He decides to go to the ant. He requested the ant to lend him some food and shelter. The ant refused to help him. He threw him out of his house. So this poem is a work of the famous Greek poet Aesop. The two characters of the poem are cricket and an ant. There was a young cricket who used to sing and dance in the summers and springs. He was happy and enjoying but silly. During the summers and spring, there's greenery everywhere. So ample food, sufficient food and water are available. One does not need to store any of these. Thus, the cricket was busy and enjoying and did not store any food for the winters. In winters, the ground is covered with snow, no flower, no leaf, nothing could be seen. The cricket passed the time singing and dancing and soon the winter came. Now he was in trouble as there was not even a crumb in his house. Nothing to eat. And due to winter he could not find any food outside also. He could thus eat nothing and was starving. That means he was without food. He somehow gathered his courage and went to the ant asking for help. Due to the starvation, chilling, cold and rays, what happened? The cricket got wet and he requested the ant to give him some food and shelter in his house. Hence he will die of hunger, sorrow and chilling cold. He also promised him to repay that he would return it. The ant told the cricket that he thinks itself to be his servant as well as a friend. But the ants do not borrow, nor do they lend to anyone. He also asked the cricket that why did he not gather and store food during the summer and spring. The cricket said that he did not bother, he did not care much about the future and was busy enjoying the pleasant weather, busy singing, busy dancing. He never thought of winter. He never once thought that he would have to face problems in the winter months. He thought that food and water will always be abundant, plenty. While the cricket was busy enjoying that storing food for the winter season, ants are very clever children. The ant thus annoyed told him that he should pass the winter also singing and dancing. The ant thus quickly put the conversation to an end and pushed him out of his house. In the end, the poet concludes by saying that he thinks that this fable is quite true as there are many human beings who do not care about the future. They thus repent when the time is gone. So what's the conclusion of this? <clears throat> the story teaches us that we shall not behave like cricket. We shall always prepare for the future so that in difficult times we do not have to beg to others for help. It also teaches us that we should always be helpful to others unlike the ant. Children, here are difficult words and the meanings. Accustomed means habitual, usual, used to, crumb. A small piece of bread, biscuit, etc. is crumb. Gay means happy, bright, vibrant, turns the winter away. Spend time dancing during the winter, dripping, so wet as to shed drops of liquid, famine, scarcity of food, folks, people in general, call folks, 
hastily, urgently, hurriedly or quickly. Miserly, a person who hoards means who accumulates wealth and spends as little money as possible. Quote, quote is an old English word. It means set, starvation, suffering or death due to lack of food, wicket, and opening in a door, gate or wall is wicked here in this story. Why is the last line important to the poem that and the cricket? In this line the poet is comparing the crickets to human beings saying that just like the crickets who don't work during summer some human beings don't work during happy times and when the winter comes that is bad times they cry out for help and go to the ants that means ants here means people who work very hard who have saved enough for the bad times is what the last line means and it is very important children so once again there lived a foolish young cricket in a garden he spent the summer in singing and merry making that means he was busy enjoying not bothered to save for the winter months he ate whatever he caught and did not lay by anything lay by means save against the rainy day winter was soon in full swing the earth was all covered with snow he could find nothing whatever nothing to eat so he did not find anything to eat he went to an ant and begged for food and shelter my store of food said she is hardly sufficient for myself i regret that i cannot lend you anything but what have you been doing throughout the summer? That asked the cricket. It was so pleasant, replied the cricket, that had been singing all the while. Then beggars like you remarked that and should go and dance the winter away. No, please go and dance. Then said to the cricket, you are busy dancing in the summer months, busy enjoying, go and enjoy now. That's what the ant said to the cricket children. So look at the poem once again children. A silly young cricket accustomed to sing. So there was a silly cricket. He was so used to singing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring. So the cricket was busy singing throughout the summer sunny months. Gay summer months full of happiness. Yes. Summer and spring food and water are available in plenty. So he did not bother to save food. What was he busy doing? He was busy singing, enjoying. Began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was calm. But when it was winter and he saw there was no food in his cupboard, then he began to complain. Not a crumb to be found. There was no crumb to be found on the snow covered ground. The ground was full of snow. No food was found. No flower, no leaf could be seen on any tree. Oh, what will become? What will become is what will happen to me? Says the cricket of me. What will happen to me in this winter season? At last, by starvation and famine made bold. So he was starving because there was no food to eat. All dripping with wet, he was wet in the rain and he was shivering with cold. And he said, tough to a miserly ant. So he decided to go to an ant. Miserly, not willing to share any food, anything to see. If to keep him alive, he would grant. That means he would give him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain. So he went to the uh, ant so that he could be alive. Yes, if he had a mouthful of grain, a little to eat and shelter from the rain. He wished only to borrow. He would repay tomorrow. That is, he would take it on loan. He would take from him and then give it back. 
the next day. If not, he must die of starvation and sorrow. So if he does not get food to eat, no shelter from the rain, he would die of starvation and sadness, unhappiness, worries. Says the ant to the cricket, I am your servant and friend. But we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. He says, yes, I'm ready to serve you, I'm your friend. But there's a principle that we follow. What is that? We neither borrow nor do we lend. We neither take from anyone nor do we give anyone. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay nothing by? Did you not save anything? When the weather was good, when it was summer, when it was spring, Yes. Quoth the cricket. What does the cricket reply? He said, Not I. No, I never bothered to save. My heart was so light. That means I was so happy that I sang day and night. I was enjoying the pleasant summer and spring. I was busy enjoying singing day and night. For all nature looked gay, nature looked so beautiful, so pleasant. I was busy enjoying the beauty of nature. You sang, sir, you say? Go then, says the ant, and turns the winter away. So the ant tells the cricket, we are busy singing in the summer season, spring season. Go and dance and sing and enjoy in winter too. Thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicked out of the door. He opened the door and turned him out of his house. Folks call this a fable. People say that this is a fable. But no, according to the poet, it is true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Now crickets, yes, your mention is made of cricket. Mention is also made of human beings, you know, two legs. Human beings have two legs. Some human beings are like the cricket. In their good times, they are busy enjoying. They do not save for future. So what happens? Their condition is like that of the cricket. They have to suffer. They have to cry. So children... Remember to save for bad times and never be lazy like the cricket. Yes, children. So, that was all about Ant and the Cricket children. Read the poem two or three times with proper understanding. Write down the difficult words and meanings, children. Okay, that's all for this session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.